Welcome back. You're watching Where You Live. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are off the brand new ferry, and now we've arrived at the brand new library. With me is Chief Librarian Terry Nero. This is spectacular. You must be over the moon. We're really happy how it came out, and the community's been very happy. We've been giving great feedback since we opened last Tuesday. Okay. Now, how many people did you have on the first day? First day, we had slightly over 1,200 people visit, which is about four, almost four times our normal kind of visits. <laughs> and and about, you had seemed, the room for them. <laughs> it's, yeah, we had the room, and it seemed about ten times the normal books. We ran out of cart space and we're, had books being returned because we've been closed for three weeks. Right, of course. Now, what is your favorite part about the new library? What's your favorite new little niche? Uh, the favorite part I watch is the people sitting and actually starting to use it as a community space. So coming okay. in and meeting and they're just having a great time. And there's a coffee shop. Yeah, so people come in and they're getting coffee and it's being used the way we expect it to be used. It's awesome. a place for people to come and get together. And they're sitting in the comfy chairs and they're having literally, and they're, are they browsing the books and taking them over and they're reading? Yeah, we're and getting then... browsing books, reading, magazines, okay. coming in for newspapers, uh, bringing their own computers. The tables over on this side were all full of people um, working on their own computers, doing oh, work. Oh, great. Cool. Now, I noticed um, you've got your computer lab over in the corner, which is yeah. quite unique. You've got how many different stations? There's uh, nine public stations there now, okay. and we'll see if that's enough. It's been pretty tight over the last week. Okay. We'll see if that continues. All right. And now, one of the things I noticed is this beautiful cabinetry, and in the front is a carving. Can you tell us about the carving? Yeah, it's a local carving, a local carver, Ivan Repensky, uh, First Nations. Okay. It's uh, frog. And uh, frog stands for knowledge, okay. and the tongue out stands for storytelling. So oh. it's very appropriate for a library. The copper that it's uh, got on it is also signifies wealth. Okay. So as he says, wealth of knowledge. Oh, excellent! Now you put a post of that on your Facebook. Tell us what happened. We did. That was kind of amazing. We posted it when Ivan first brought it over. He did a picture of it. And we ended up with just about 19,000 views, which for us is a lot because the best previous one was 1,900. Wow. So it was very popular. Well, and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And the cabinetry is just spectacular. Was that locally made? Yeah, that was locally made. Okay. Leo Zagwin uh, did that, and the copper on the front. Mm -hmm. Again, that's a, the mountainscape for Powell River is etched in the copper. Amazing. And then the coffee shop cabinet, was that made by the same fellow? No, it was a different local vendor. Okay. So what we've got there is a Wildwood. It's uh, made beautiful. Those. Yeah, yeah, these are really nice work. Really, really, really pretty and very appropriate for Powell River. And you've kept all of the columns natural, which yeah, is great. Yeah, the ceiling worked cover. out very, very well, sort yeah. of the industrial look contrasting with the original uh, wood beams and posts. Yeah, the wood beams are just spectacular. Now, tell us about your stacks. They're a little bit shorter than what you would see. Yeah, the, a little shorter, which gives us this open view, which is a lot nicer. They're five foot six. This is a new kind of, from the vendor, it's a four post. Usually you see the library cantilever stacks, and this four post stack is new. In fact, we're the first uh, installation of it in uh, BC. Awesome. So we're really happy with how that looks, and we like the uh, kind of white look throughout the place. Well, what I find is the white is, the white is reflecting all of the natural light coming in yeah. from the gorgeous windows, the floor to ceiling, which are just magnificent. Yeah, and that was part of the reason the lower cabinets, to bring that light all the way to the back. Right, of so the there's building, no dull, dingy, dingy area. Okay, awesome. Now, um, the children's area. Yes. So adorable. Oh my God. Yeah. And you've got a cork floor in there and some uh, area rugs. Yeah, some area rugs, and actually a local uh, carpet place did those for us. We gave a pattern, and they made those, so nice. the pebble design. And Colin McRae from Base Camp did the uh, tree that's in the back and the installation of the uh, powder-coated animals along the wall and the rock and log, nice. which is a very nice setting for story time. And is the, what about the tables? The tables are so unique. Yeah, he also built those tables, and it's okay. really nice bent bent legs with a very nice banded top on them. He does very nice work and we like those a lot. That is awesome. 
All right, well, Terry, thank you so much for the tour of the new library. This is really, really spectacular. And I'm sure you guys are gonna have years and years and years of just community gatherings and places. And you've got all the meeting rooms in the back. And yeah. Awesome. Thanks right. for coming over again. And you brought the sun again with you yes, again. Yes, I did. Okay. Every time we come, we bring the sun yeah. <laughs> to sunny Powell River, <laughs> to the Sunshine Coast. Thanks so much, Terry. Uh, you're watching Where You Live on Shaw TV. We will be right back.